Okay, welcome to another STMA Google Sites 101 tutorial. This one might be a little bit more advanced, um, but it's nothing that you guys can't handle. Uh, for this one, we're going to talk about how to embed an MP3 file directly onto your website. So maybe you've got a song that you listen to in class, some schoolhouse rock, some grammar rock, uh, whatever it might be, or maybe you got a study cast or a podcast that you want the kids to be able to listen to right from your website. Um, really easy to do. Uh, it takes a little uh, tomfoolery, but it's pretty easy to do once you get the hang of it. So first thing that you want to do is you're going to want to go out to your file locker, which we've already talked about creating. I recommend opening it in a new tab, and you'll see why in a little bit. But just hold down Control and click your file locker tab and go over to your file locker. You're going to want to add a file, all right? So click Add File and then Browse. Go find it on your computer. I'm going to upload, too late to apologize, a declaration. Hot jam right now. All the kids are listening to it. Uh, check it out yourself. You can go ahead and click Upload. And then you just wait for a minute or so while it's uploading. All right, you've got it right there. We'll come back to it in a minute. Then go to the page where you want to put your song for them to listen to or whatever it is. I'm just going to put it on the main page here. Click Edit Page. And then put, where, put it wherever you want. Go Insert, More Gadgets. All right, you might see this MP3 player right here. Don't use it. It doesn't work. All right, so if you click it, click Cancel. Don't use it. Instead, click Featured and then click Embed Gadget, and then click Select. All right, now you're going to want to use the code that I sent out to you. It's all this gibberish right here. I sent it out in the email. It's also in the description of this YouTube video. So just highlight all of that code, right-click, and click Copy, right-click, and click Paste. You don't have to worry about what it says. It's just a bunch of gibberish. Um, the big thing you want to see is right here where it says MP3 URL. You're going to go back to your file locker, and that's why we have it in a new tab. And on this download link, right click, copy link location, come back over to here. You've highlighted MP3 URL, right click and click paste. You're done, almost. Where it says width, we're going to change that to 500. Come on now, 500. All right, our height, we're going to change to 27. You can see up top here, it gives us those numbers 527. Um, we're going to give it a title. Too late to apologize, a declaration. We'll click OK. And you can see it here, but we don't get to see it in all its glory until we click Save. And then there you go. You click Play. And your song will start playing. You can scroll through it. And all the kids can easily listen to it. Um, and that pretty much covers it. Alrighty. If you have any questions, uh, just give me a holler. Uh, good luck and happy embedding.